the friends in Christ. Welcome to Saturday of the first week of Lent. It's the 12th of March. Most people seek to be the best in what they do, to become the reference point in their career or vocation. People struggle and work so hard to make sure that they come at least close to being perfect. Jesus sets that same target for his disciples. He knows that perfection is found only in God, but he calls on his disciples to aim at that perfection as the best way to show forth that they have been created in the image and likeness of the Father who is perfect. Our first reading today is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 26, verses 16 to 19, and it proposes the Old Testament way of attaining perfection, of remaining in the best possible relationship with God. It is the way of the commandments. Moses spoke to the people. This day, the Lord your God commands you to do these statutes and ordinances. You shall therefore be careful to do them with all your heart and with all your soul. The law is seen as a contract between God and the people. If they keep all the commandments, Moses says, he will set you high above all nations that he has made. In this case, it looks as if reciprocity applies. If the people are faithful to the commandments, God will also preserve them and favor them. The law of the New Testament, however, as seen in the Gospel of today, taken from Matthew chapter 5, verses 43 to 48, is not about reciprocity, but unconditional love. While the old law says, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy, Jesus commands, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Love in this case is not about how you feel, not about reciprocity, but a determination to show goodwill to everyone, friends and foes alike. This is definitely a good chance to overcome the obstacles in doing good. This type of love is no, no more ordinary human love. It has crossed to the level of the divine, agape love. So Jesus says, by doing this, you will be sons of your Father who is in heaven. There's a great lesson for us in this. And Jesus gives us an example. He says, For he makes his Son rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the just and the unjust. God is generous and kind to all, irrespective of whether they are saints or sinners. The resources of the earth are available to all alike. If you are good only to those who are good to you, Jesus says that you are not different from others because even tax collectors and Gentiles do the same. To be perfect like your heavenly father means to be good to everyone. It is love that makes us pray for the sinner, for even the one who professes himself or herself an enemy. It is love that moves us to be good to those who do not deserve our love, those who do not deserve our care, those who do not deserve our generosity. If God were to mark our sins, we do not deserve the goodness He showers on us daily. Be ye perfect, loving, and merciful like your Heavenly Father. Let us pray. Lord, it is hard to be good to someone who does not deserve it. But because you have asked us to, give us also the courage to love as you love, to forgive as you forgive. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.